I know our commonsensical generation, Patrick, finds it hard to comprehend how anyone could decide to build two gigantic railway stations slap bang next to each other. And that is because these days we forget the magnificent and demented spirit of free market competition that distinguished the Victorian railway companies, a rivalry so vicious that they would not even let each other's trains arrive at their respective termini. And when the Great Northern Railway Company opened this fantastic King's Cross behind us in 1852, the Midland Railway Company retaliated 16 years later with that, this gorgeous, deranged amalgam of the Doge's Palace and King Ludwig's Castle in Bavaria. And not content, the Midland Railway Company, not content with having built the biggest, maddest railway station terminus anywhere in the world, they added a flourish, what is called in architecture an acroterion. Do you see it? Up there, look at her, to look down on their competitor. That was what the point of this, there she is. Can you see her with the trident? She is the spirit of disdain. She is the great British goddess of neighbourly scorn. And it's it absolutely true, this is what they put her there for. And for decades, for all of our lives, Patrick, David, she has stood up there quietly despising the clutter, the overcrowding, the higgledy-piggledy chaos that grew up around Cubitt's original design. That's what she was doing. So what do we say to her now? What do we say now to the spirit of disdain and scorn? We say, eat your heart out, baby. I can't tell you exactly what the great Lewis Cubitt meant when he designed that building behind me. Whether the, these extraordinary round windows behind me, what were they meant to signify? Are they binoculars through which Londoners can view the distant north? Are they a double-barreled shotgun to fire us at unprecedented speed in that direction? Or are they a huge pair of eyes appearing from beneath the detritus of the, 20, the 20th century like a gigantic frog emerging from a muddy pond? Frankly, I haven't got a clue. Three, two, one.